This one is from Anonymous. Oh, of we course. Get occasionally, we get a lot of questions from from him, her. Yeah. Indeed. Is Hello, that a, no, I am what, the, what's what's what? her pronoun? What's the pronoun? I I don't know. Uh, them they? It's unknown. It could be them Us, they. They okay. Uh, they. Hello, I am the Microsoft 365 administrator. I have encountered a problem. I changed my phone and forgot to enable the two-factor authentication feature in the authenticator on the new phone. Uh, we've had variations of this. Now I can't access my admin page. Is there a solution to this? Please help me. You want the <laughs> so I'll give you I'll give you a quick answer. I mean, I, there's a couple of different ways to answer this, right? The mm -hmm. first one is the first one is is this is perfect scenario for someone who's not supposed to have access that wants to get an answer on how to get access to a an account because they don't have the MFA on the phone because they don't have they don't have possession of the phone. All right. So if there was a way to do this, obviously it's a hack. Mm -hmm. You know, um, number one. Number two. Why in the world would anyone, anyone who is an administrator of 365, not set up a backup account? Exactly. Uh, I mean, it. it or it, more than one way to get into that silly account. Several. Well, you, have to, default, though, you have right, to by default, though. You have to by default. Now. Right. You have yeah. to. You have to set up a at on or uh, whatever domain dot on Microsoft dot com. You have to have that account. It's called what they used to call it. They used to call it the. Uh, the core account or something like that, but it was the, the the account that could still get in the system if for any reason any of your global admins um, could not get in, and you still have to create those. So if this enterprise first, administrator is that no it, no, it was a global admin. Well, in Azure, okay. it's a global, ad, oh, global right, admin. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah. So if for this person who's a three sixty five administrator not to have access to that or have access to a person who knows what that is. Um, that seems a little strange to me. Um, they could go through the Microsoft support thing, which I have had a customer go through and literally they ask for everything from a picture of their driver's license and their passport and their, you know, the company on something on company letterhead and the whole nine yards before they can you know, get access back because of the role that they were in. Um, so to be honest, you can install the two, uh, the authenticator on a new phone. And if for some reason, yeah, I would hope that you were doing the backup of, you know, your codes, which you is automatic in the Microsoft authenticator um, and the Google authenticator as well. If you use that one or whatever authenticator you use, then you should be able to retrieve those codes. You should be able to restore them and then be able to log in. So I'm not understanding this entirety of the question, but I, I find it there's like a little bit of me that's like, eh, it's a little fishy. Um, just because there's so many avenues to go down here. Does feel like a uh, maybe a hacker anonymous or it, looking it, for, it could be yeah. well benefit the doubt could be just inexperience right yeah true. yeah yeah there's there's an awful lot of demo them, tenant, a demo well, tenant they, or something they could be they could be at the same level of ex expertise as christian and you have to kind of walk them very slowly baby step and in. very <laughs> yeah you have to be very articulate My Explain it again as you would to a four-year-old. <laughs> in case we have any four-year-olds, it's a, it's one of the demographics of our show. So you're prompting me like GPT, like like AI. Explain it again like you would a four-year-old. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and keep your old phone. Yeah, that's well, the that's... one thing I found. If you can, I've got three phones on here. They all have this that I have replaced, but still function. Uh, one of them, of course, is the only one that's connected to the wireless network as a, as a wireless, as, as, as a cell phone. But the other two, you know, they still work fine on Wi-Fi. They still have authenticator on them. And it still works. Basically, in the accounts that I've, that I've worked with, 
you can have more than one authenticator and all of them work. Yeah. So if you still have the old phone, if you have access to the old phone, yeah, that becomes I, a no brainer. I actually did that exact scenario. I had it there. It wasn't, there was no service, but I had Wi-Fi. I, I was able to go in and, and retrieve information and set it up. I mean, that's one of the things where like, I do not give up the phone. I don't, wipe it, do any of that until I'm confident everything is moved over correctly. I'm able to access all of those core systems and applications. Well, you should have and it might be. I'm sorry, Hal, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, and it might be worthwhile keeping one of those old phones in a drawer, something like yeah. that, just in case the one that you're using goes up in a cloud of smoke. Well, and you, you still don't... have a way back in. And the thing of it is about these these accounts in Authenticator, I, of course, I do the backup. You pretty much have to. And and having several phones, I've done restores. The problem with it is, is on Microsoft accounts, those always come up. This account needs attention. And what it basically wants you to do is to log into your account and add the new Authenticator like it was a brand new Authenticator. You have to you have to scan the uh, the QR code or or whatever, and and. If you can't get there to scan the code, you're pretty well screwed. Yeah, but you've got so many different avenues too, because two, you know, two FA doesn't mean just an authenticator app. Exactly. I mean, there's literally like three or four different methods you can use. Yes, add you know a bunch of security questions. You can add up to like, you know, eight security questions or something like that. You can you know all kinds of uh, yeah, doing the whole um, what is it the pin code thing, which I don't recommend, but hey, as a backup. Mm. You know, why do you think you get recovery codes from yep. providers after you, you know, create the uh, the uh, authenticator app um, login? They give you a, a sheet of recovery codes that you can mm -hmm. use. Um, so there's a lot of different things here. And uh, I, today, I, I just don't personally see people getting locked out of accounts anymore um, because, there's, it, because of something like this. I got uh, locked out of my forgot. account. I got locked out of my account when I returned to Microsoft because the MFA requirements had me reporting to somebody that I had reported to prior to joining full time. And so that interim manager, or whoever you want to think of that role, was getting the request from me to log in. And uh, the manager that hired me back to Microsoft in 2019 uh, was trying to figure out why they weren't getting the requests. So once we troubleshot that, we were told when I started that um, if we accelerated the process, there might be issues. I had worked at Microsoft before. I thought, oh, you know, how how, how bad could it be? What could be the worst? <laughs> and it was the worst. So I had yeah. my first week where I couldn't access anything because without that approval the first time, Microsoft doesn't let you on their network anymore, yeah. even wired in. Nothing I could do other than get to the internet. <laughs> and I could get into buildings because I had a badge. 